Hello, well this is the latest in our international cases that we're discussing that relate to universalism and whether or not different jurisdictions recognise each other's bankruptcy proceedings. And the case I want to talk to you about now is of course the famous judgment of Lord Hoffman in the House of Lords in re H I H Casualty and General Insurance Limited, 2008 square brackets, one weekly law reports at page 852. Well, why is this case important? Well, just like Cambridge Transportation as a example of universalism, that case of course featured the Isle of Man, the Cayman, New York, etc. What we're dealing with here in HIH is a similar type of case where we're considering whether or not different jurisdictions recognise each other in the sense of insolvency proceedings. But here we have on the one hand the English and Welsh courts in London on the one hand and then the New South Wales courts over in Australia on the other. And the key point for us to consider in this case was whether or not the English courts should recognise the office holder in Australia, New South Wales, for the purpose of a liquidation that was occurring in Australia. Well, the problem for the first instance judge, of course, was that the distribution provisions in Australia are different to those in England and Wales, particularly as concerns preferential creditors. So in Australia, one class of preferential creditor are insurance creditors. So obviously for a distribution to occur in Australia, pursuant to their provisions, would cause a more beneficial realisation for insurance creditors. So the question before the court at first instance in England and Wales, in the High Court Chancery Division, was whether or not assets should be remitted to the Australian court for distribution pursuant to that different distribution mechanism regime. Well, at first instance, the story, I'm afraid, was bad because the judge refused to remit the assets. However, eventually, as you may guess, on appeal, we go right up to the House of Lords and Lord Hoffman, who, in making reference to Solomon's and Ross, that very old authority that we have, on universalism, we see that he orders that those assets can and should indeed be remitted to Australia, not least because Australia is a country which is listed under section 426 of the Insolvency Act 1986 as a country that's recognised or should be recognised by the English and Welsh courts as one which is competent to administer an insolvency jurisdiction. So we'd say that re HIH is a very important case in that long-running golden thread of universalism and that despite the differences in distribution we can still have recognition that can lead to perhaps more appropriate distribution techniques in one jurisdiction as opposed to another, namely Australia in this instance. Well, do have a look at the, uh, the shorts on Cambridge and also the shorts on Reuben, but until you do, I bid you goodbye. Goodbye.